olive oil is beneficial for both type 1 and type 2 diabetes. Listen, everybody. Olive oil holds many purposes. But remember, there are five types. Basically, there are this cold-pressed extra virgin olive oil, which is the highest grade. And the higher the grade, the higher the vitamins, the antioxidants, the anti-inflammatory properties, right? Cooking with olive oil instead of like typical butter that you buy at the store may be a good step for healthier you. You can also use olive oil as a salad dressing or as an add-on to cooked veggies, for example. And to be honest with you, you can actually add olive oil on everything. I had a steak yesterday and I added some, you know, rosemary and olive oil right on top of it. Was it delicious? Holy hell yeah. One thing you do not want to do is to fry in high heat with the olive oil, right? Then you will get exact opposite of what you're looking for or hoping for. Hello everyone. If you are looking for exclusive deals, some blogs, educational content every week delivered to your email, subscribe to our newsletter at sugarmds.com right now. Well, here are the benefits. I'll jump to the first benefit. Well, of course it helps with diabetes. A study, for example, found that the rise in the blood sugar levels was much smaller after a meal with extra virgin olive oil than after a meal with corn oil. Other studies linked extra virgin olive oil to higher levels of insulin production after a meal, which, you like it or not, you have to make insulin, okay? Do you wonder why olive oil can otherwise help your diabetes? Well, there's actually a compound in there. It's called oloropane. It is pretty much a superpower. It sends signals to your pancreas to release the insulin, and that will actually regulate your blood sugar levels and actually even increase your metabolic rate. So like I said, if you have diabetes, you better use olive oil in almost every meal. Number two would be decreasing in your cholesterol, lowering your cholesterol. It protects your heart. If you're a diabetic, you are four freaking times more likely to have a heart disease. So olive oil being high in monounsaturated fatty acids helps a lot. When substituted for saturated fats, not all saturated fats, but some saturated fats are bad for you, not all of them, then the antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties of olive oil will add the benefit. Uh, because if you're eating an oil, why not olive oil, right? What's the point of eating another some junk oil, right? So basically, we already know this, but anti-oxidation and anti-inflammation means a longer life uh, and staying away from trouble. Number three, I would say slowing down the progression of dementia, especially Alzheimer's disease. Why do I talk about dementia? Well, because diabetics are more likely to be demented if they live long enough. You heard me right, memory problems. Dementia is very common among diabetics. Who wants to spend their last 10 years of their life not remembering anybody around them? But how can olive oil help with that? Well, olive oil can actually prevent the toxic accumulation of a protein called tau protein. This protein is the hallmark of multiple types of dementia and there you have it, olive oil helps that too. So why not? Number four benefit would be reducing the joint damage and arthritis. A lot of studies found that olive oil has numerous anti-inflammatory compounds, some of them we already discussed. But among these are, one of them is called oleocanthal that strikingly has similar effects to ibuprofen. This compound actually works to reduce and prevent inflammation in your joints by inhibiting pro-inflammation enzymes such as COX-1 and COX-2. And best of all, olive oil won't give you stomach bleed or kidney failure that typically happens with NSAIDs such as ibuprofen. Did you know that many researchers have actually studied the benefits of olive oil for that purpose? Well. I would love to show you some of their findings. There's so many studies out there that suggest that olive oil is beneficial for diabetes. You already know that by now, right? But I'll show you at least three studies that, that are interesting. The first study is from Harvard University. They looked at olive oil and they found that they it can actually reduce the risk of premature death in comparison to previous studies that focused on 
you know, living in the Mediterranean regions and stuff like that, this was the first study actually that focused on Americans. The study examined dietary questionnaires completed by 60,000 women and 31,000 men in the United States between 1990 and 2018. According to the findings, people who consumed the most olive oil, which is typically more than 7 grams per day on average, had a 19% lower risk of total and cardiovascular disease mortality. Now, another study found that was a meta-analysis, actually, of 45 studies, and 37 of them were case control studies, and there were around 17,000 cases and 28,000 controls. The most olive oil, the more you olive you eat, the less likely you are going to get cancer by 31% according to their findings. Let's rephrase this. Overall, highest versus lowest olive oil consumption was associated with 31% lower cancer risk. Significant protection was noted for breast cancer, gastrointestinal cancer, upper respiratory cancer, urinary tract cancer. So, overall findings remained consistent when studies were actually further subgrouped by the degree of adjustment, etc. Sometimes, you know, you need to look into those. Uh, and they looked at, for example, Mediterranean versus non-Mediterranean populations to see if there was any difference. But, you know, extra virgin olive oil really also helps with the blood pressure as well. And that's the last study that we're going to look at. In 2000, there was a study where 23 uh, men and women with high blood pressure ate extra virgin olive oil. On some of them, the control group had sunflower oil every day for six months. The study showed that both systolic, which is the first number on your blood pressure, and diastolic, which is the second number on your blood pressure, went down for those who ate the extra virgin olive oil. After six months of daily consumption of olive oil, uh, 8 out of 23 people with high blood pressure were able to stop their medications. Some studies show that extra virgin olive oil may have a bigger effect on your systolic blood pressure than the diastolic blood pressure, especially if compared to an oil that is high in polyunsaturated fats. For example, Dr. Perona looked at 62 older men, on average 84 years, and similar age women as well. A half of them had high blood pressure, and 60 grams of extra virgin olive oil versus some flower oil were given for four weeks, only four weeks to them. And after that uh, phase, their systolic blood pressure went to normal levels after just four weeks of extra virgin olive oil. And compared to sunflower oil cons consumers, they still had a blood pressure at 150 or higher level versus the extra virgin olive oil group had a 130 blood pressure on average. Again, it's best to use as a raw form in salads or dressing. If you want to use it for cooking, you can, but just don't use high heat and that will literally destroy all the good compounds in olive oil. Use low heat and add some, if you want to, at the end of the cooking process, if you're not gonna be able to cook like at a, at a low temperature. Around 40 ml a day, which is four tablespoons. Some people literally drink it in the morning but others preferred on their salads or some other food. But in conclusion, I would say olive oil has so many possible benefits that, well, it cannot cure diabetes, but always, I would say, take your medications and supplements, but use the olive oil to your benefit. Uh, I'm not saying, you know, just go drink olive oil and drop all your medications and supplements, but definitely take advantage of that great great oil given by God to us. So you may be already seeing some drastic change in your blood sugar level uh, after using sugar MD advanced glucose support. But if you are having better blood sugars with anything you do, take less, less supplement. That's okay. Uh, I'm here to help you. I'm not here to sell you supplements. So if you, if your blood sugars are okay, take less, save some money. Okay. So, but the bottom line is, do everything you can 
to get, keep your blood sugars and cholesterol and the blood pressure under control. And if your efforts are not helping, the supplements and medications are there for you, and I'm here for you as well. So anyways, I don't want to talk too much. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Remember to subscribe. Please give a thumbs up. Write a comment. Tell us what you think, and I'll see you in the next video. Hey guys, I hope you are enjoying this channel so far and I hope you subscribed already. If you didn't, do it. And if you did, watch this video right there. I think that will help you too.